Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this uh, episode, we are treating the domain of a function. Don't forget our previous class, we did mention of some terms and a function as domain, codomain and the range. So if you are referring to the domain, we know it's the set of the first set, the values of the first set. So if you ask to find the largest domain of a function, they are only asking to find from the pool of numbers what are the set of values of x that make the function to be defined in set a pool of numbers what set of numbers when substituted into the place of x make the function to be defined that is the domain or we are looking for a set of numbers that exclude the values of x that make the function to be undefined so we are to find for the first one we know we have f of x to be equal to 1 minus 2x. So with values of x that when I place into the values uh, in place of x will still make this function to be defined. You know all numbers. 0 will give you 1. Negative 1 will give you a value. Positive 1 in that order. So it means all real numbers. The set of all real numbers is the domain of this function. Then there's one number that you plant into this that will not give you an answer. So it means that Therefore, our domain is going to be the set of x such that x belong to all set of four real numbers. All real number system will provide an answer, a defined solution. All right. Then number two, which is also going to be set of f of x equals to the square root of 2x minus 1. All right. Now, under this, we know that our square root, the radicand, should always be a positive value. We don't need a negative number under the radical. That will give us undefined, or better still, a complex number. So, in this set, it means that the value, all these values here, should always be positive, or better still, zero. If all of this is zero, square root of zero is zero, and zero is defined. So, for us to be able to solve this under a square root, we always take the radical to be more or equals to zero so the values the the values of x here we are looking for all the domain of this include all numbers that are 2x minus 1 greater or equals to what zero all those real numbers that are solved when you solve this what do you get the numbers that are either more than or less than the x are the values you're looking for so we need this to be always zero or more than zero, not negative. All right, so we can solve this. In order to move this here, we have 2x greater or equals to 1. And I believe we can divide that by 2 to have x to be more or equals to what? 1 over 2. So it means that x here could be half. Half of 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this is defined when x is half. All numbers that are above half will also give you a, a possible solution. Therefore, your domain, don't forget, it's a set. So, it's a set of x such that x belongs to all real numbers. And this x have a condition from, from half. It means that the condition that we are looking for, for these real numbers, all real numbers, and all these real numbers to satisfy this condition that they should be more than what? Half. More or equal to half. Alright. But I explained in the beginning also that the domain also exclude the values of x that make the function to be undefined. So it means that all values of a real number except that the radical is negative. Except for the values that Everything under this square root, if it is negative, then we have undefined. So we are going to have exception of those numbers. So we can also start by saying that the domain is going to be include numbers except 2x minus 1 less than what? 0. Not less than or equals to. Because if it is equal to 0, you still have defined. So this is going to be 2x less than what? 1. Then x is going to be less than what? half. So what will be the domain? The domain is going to be a set of x such that x belong to what? Real numbers. Except 
that x is what less than what half these two uh set could be the answer this is the answer this is also the answer both mean the same thing this means that we are looking for all real numbers with exception of the values that are less than what half we are looking for all real numbers that are beyond or equals to half so either we are going forward or we are coming backwards going forward means we are looking for all those numbers coming backwards means we don't need this those numbers to make the extraction defined all right then the third one we can also have this to be f of x equals to x squared minus 3x any values of x you put in there will always give you uh, a solution negative number squared positive you get an answer positive number you still get an answer so your domain will be a set of x such that x belong to all world real numbers all right so in this the only situation whereby we will not get real numbers is where we have uh, a set that is a square root or we have a fraction you know a fraction your denominator must not be zero the moment is zero is undefined so you try and uh, equate your denominator not to be equal to zero in order to find those possible values i believe the concept is clear if the concept is clear don't forget to share with your learning mate share with somebody else ask them to subscribe to the channel after watching like and comment thank you for watching bye